Hello everyone. The following is my solution to remodeling your stairs from carpeted to wood. I hope you enjoy this makeover. The first step is to remove all carpeting, padding, staples, nails, and debris. I had hoped that I could just remove the carpeting, sand down the wood, and paint them, but as you can see, that was not an option here. We decided to go with covers, wood covers, for the treads as well as the risers. And this particular one is made by Retro Tread, and it is a red oak, really sturdy, thick, just beautiful. And then for the risers, we decided we would go ahead and just use pine. So it's one inch pine, so it takes up the space uh, so we don't have to cut off the nose from the uh, existing stair. Each tread and riser must be cut to fit each step. I experimented with different colors on a sample piece of the red oak before deciding on what colors I wanted to use. And these were the three that I decided to use. Um, first the stain and then the sprays, doing different layers. Once the pieces were cut and numbered to the corresponding tread or riser on the stair or the step, I went ahead and I sanded each piece down really well and then wiped it down really well before getting started on the staining. I stained three pieces at a time and laid them out and made sure that they dried for uh, 15 minutes. Um, this was done in cold weather, it was kind of humid outside and they just needed to absorb really, really well before I uh, wiped them down.
it's important to wipe off as much stain as you possibly can because you want to make sure that this dries really, really well and that it doesn't dry tacky. Plus, I also wanted to add um, layers of the different spray stains so that I could achieve a certain color. So it was really important for each piece to dry really well in between coats. After all my coats of color have been applied and dried, I then sanded the piece down with a 320 grit sandpaper and uh, wiped it down really, really well before applying the polyurethane. By the way, all of these were oil stains and this is an oil uh, polyurethane that I am uh, putting onto the piece. Um, the and this is actually put at four times the speed, but I did follow uh, instructions from uh, another video that I have watched on YouTube from Paul's DIY Solutions. He shows you how to put on uh, bubble-free polyurethane layers. It's got to be really thin, and it's fantastic, and it's a slow process, but I'll tell you what, my pieces came out amazing. I applied two coats of the polyurethane sanding in between and then just allowed them to dry really well. After everything was dried, I laid out the first pieces that I would begin with and uh, then started installation.
I hope this video offered some solutions for you and or inspiration. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy project.